More than 200 pupils and staff abducted by gunmen from a school in northern Nigeria have been released just over two weeks after they were kidnapped from the town of Kuriga in Kaduna State. The Kaduna governor said the country's national security advisor had coordinated the release but gave no further details. Gunmen had last week demanded a ransom of $690,000 for the release of the missing children and staff. Kidnappings and looting of villages by criminal gangs known as bandits are common in the northern part of the country and such attacks have displaced around a million people in the region. Well, let's get more on this rescue operation. Tesem Akenda is joining us in Jos City in north central Nigeria. Tesem, what can you tell us about the report on the release of the over 200 students and staff who had been abducted? Well, indeed, it's good news for many people, not just in Kaduna State, but, uh, you know, across Nigeria who are really concerned or were concerned by the fact that school children and, of course, few of their teachers, you know, held in custody. Uh, the, uh, this uh, was made, uh, this was disclosed by the state governor, like you said, in a statement commending the national security advisor, commending Mr. President, talking about Bola Ahmed Chinubu, and troops of the armed forces who, according to him, were the ones that coordinated the release of these children. But yes, it's a talking point for many people here in Nigeria, and uh, especially for those in government. They are happy that the children were not killed, but are alive today. Well, tell us more about how people are reacting to the news and what they're saying about the security situation in the affected areas. Well, indeed, it has left, uh, like I said, it's a talking point here in Nigeria. Many people woke up to the news this morning and on our social media handles, you know, as elsewhere, they are asking questions. What happened? Who were those responsible? And um, uh, was any ransom paid? Because uh, the abductors, like you said, uh, were demanding over $600,000 to secure the release of the children. Was that, uh, you know, was that ransom paid? Uh, who collected it if there was some payment whatsoever? Uh, recall that Mr. President had categorically said no dime will be paid to the abductors. Uh, so it's a question on the lips of many Nigerians uh, on social media. Several questions are going up in that regard. Uh, the statement by the governor did not say whether that was done. Uh, he just said, um, uh, I mean, commended the courage of uh, troops of the armed forces. And so uh, we are, people are happy that the children are back, but there are a lot of questions. And uh, they are actually demanding for answers. Uh, we don't know if those answers will actually come from the authorities. Well, Tessem, you know, the uh, issue of abductions seems to have been on the rise in the past a couple of years. What is the government doing to deal with the problem of insecurity and abduction? Yes, uh, you know, Nigeria has a trajectory, and uh, this has been with us. Uh, the, talking about abductions, terrorism has been with us for years now. Uh, there are flashpoints. There are states that, you know, have always been in the news talking abductions. States like Kaduna in the northwest, states like Katsina, states like Niger, states like Sokoto, states like Zamfara. And so, uh, you know, to answer you, the authorities, uh, especially the chief of defense staff, the inspector general of police, uh, say that there's been more deployment to these troubled re regions uh, to ensure that, um, uh, you know, before the attacks happen or before the abductions happen, they are forestalled, the government are forestalled from carrying out such acts again. Uh, just to add to that, uh, the government is talking about uh, recruiting more personnel to team up with uh, the personnel we already have on ground at the moment. We fall short of uh, the security, uh, the, 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 the police uh, uh, to citizen ratio as recommended by the United Nations. And so the authorities are trying to have more recruitment at the moment to, you know, uh, you know, show up the numbers and make Nigeria a lot safer.